Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Fake Grand Order video. Today, going to be talking about the specific raids that are going on in North American version of the game, which is the uh, Guda Guda Nobu, Nobu raids, which should be going on if you're currently caught up in the story. If you're not caught up in the story, then chances are you will miss out on these raids completely. <laughs> so if you're starting out the event or you've been a little bit negligent on the event, I would suggest doing them now because raids do not last very long. So let's go into it. I also have trying something a little bit different for this video where I have actual gameplay in the background. I don't actually know how to do... Actually, I don't know what people want to see in gameplay videos for Fogo. So if you have any specifics you want to see or talk about, see or me have me talk about, feel free to leave it down below and I'll think about potentially doing something with it. I'm always open to ideas. But anyway, these raids, like I said, it's for the current event. You should be up to the story. Once the story unlocks, basically seven Nobus will drop, one for each class. We will then have to beat them all down, and then once we beat them all down, it unlocks one final big Nobu. And once that happens, you can kind of like... The raids are done, and you can't do them anymore. We're supposed to work together to take them all down, but a lot of the times when it comes to raids, we are working against each other. I'm not even 100% sure these raids will still be up by the time this video is even uploaded <laughs> and finished, which should be less than 12 hours after it released initially, so let's see how it's looking like when it happens. But anyway, I digress. Let's go into them in the specific drops. You don't have to go too hard on this one because from what I've heard, the drop rates of this one aren't the greatest in the world. And so you don't have to feel too bad about not doing them. These do kind of drop currency and stuff like that, so I like to do them like the event currency. So they're kind of a good way to very like, usually a good way to just kind of like grind other materials that you badly need and then, you know, finish off the event itself and then just kind of relax for the remainder of the event not have to worry about it but it's up to you to decide how you want to specifically go about this i also think you have to do raids to finish the mission things but i'm, I'm getting conflicting reports on whether or not you miss out on anything by not doing it but eh, just to be safe hopefully you do at least one raid but anyway let's start off with the saber one which is the blazing nobu all the Nobus, I think, are based off of um, natural disasters. There are a bunch of difficulty ones, but I'm going to just always go for the last one, which is the one you usually want to grind. If you're someone who's new to the game and you're not, like... If you're new to the game, feel free to use one of the lesser ones for um, grinding it out. Don't worry about it too much. Always grind the one that you can actually do and don't feel too bad about not being able to do the stronger ones. But if you can do the stronger ones, do the stronger ones. But anyway, let's go into it. The Saber one, Silver Saber, she drops potentially any of the gold CEs. She drops the Spirit Root, she drops the Fang, she drops the Secret Gem for Sabers, she drops the Red Gem for gem Sabers and the Blue Gem, along with the Log and the Handy Bronze Mirror. So if this is a specific thing that you want to see grind for it, then go for it. I don't think I really need much logs. To be fair, I think the bronze mirror is kind of a pain in the butt. I, I think it's because it's silver. But actually, I have plenty of silver, so I don't think I actually did it that badly. Um, so not too bad for me. Dragon Fang, from what it's looking at from the chart I'm looking here, has a 79% chance of drop, which is pretty nice. I don't need that much Dragon Fangs, though. I think I already have, like, 500 Dragon Fangs somehow. <laughs> from previous grinding, but hey, if you want to go in there, go in there. That's for the Archer Nobu. Next we have the Raid on the Earth Nobu. This one for, the, again, the final ascent, the final fight version of it, the strongest one, um, where all the percentages are. Um, we have... The, uh, every single one of these raids drops one of the gold CEs and also gems of the specific class that they're from, just so I don't have to constantly keep bringing it up over and over again just to let you guys know there we go but it also drops the tear stone blood the ghost lantern and large clam along with the sturdy log okay not too bad there's a 57 percent chance dropping with the ghost lantern 22 percent with the tear stone blood i don't really need any of these um so i probably am not going to be grinding this one too much myself next we have the flood nobu which is of the uh, Archer class. I don't know why I blanked on Archer class of all things to blank out on, but I did. 
we have the core, the reactor core, and we have the homunculus babies, and then we have the sick, uh, I already mentioned that, the fragrant thatch, and the mini bronze bell. I don't, I think I might need reactor cores, I have to check on this, I think this might be a fairly new um, material, so those are always the one that I have like 20 of or so, so I probably need a little bit more of this, but not probably a top priority because I can't actually think of too many units that I either want in the future or have currently that need them. I think the ones that I already, like, for example, Space Star, she's already fully ascended, so I don't need her, and I can't really think of many other units that really use them. Oh, Voyager uses them. And hmm, Nemo uses them, so that's kind of annoying. I don't have Nemo. But if I ever did, it'd be very nice to have it. Anyway, moving on. And the drop rate for the homunculus baby is 60% and 22% for the reactor core. Next, the raid Tempest Nova, which is the one that has the egg, the mystical egg, and it also has stakes. So it has the egg of truth, it has the stake, and it has the log, and it has the bronze bell, and it has everything else that I've mentioned previously that all of them have. Uh, this one, uh, the real shame of here is that the egg has, a, the Genesis egg has like a 17 percent dra drop rate chance, which is not the greatest to be honest, but stakes are at 80 percent. So you know, stakes are high on that. In that case, sorry, bird the bad joke but whatever um so i'll probably end up granting this one the most just because so many units need this damn egg so many need this stupid egg both current and past so many use this stupid fucking egg so <laughs> i'll grind it because i missed out on all the other grind chances anything for the egg so i'll do it thankfully as far as materials go it's actually pretty easy to um, just buy them from the shop, which is not something you could do at JP at the time, which you can do here on NA, which is very thankful. I'm very thankful for it. Thank you very much. Appreciate it a whole bunch. Next, we got the Light Nobu, which drops uh, the Beast Gallstone, Gunpowder, th frag Fragment Thatch, and the Bronze Mirror. Hmm... This is definitely one that I don't need any of these. I think I have plenty of gunpowder. I have plenty of gallstones, so this is one I'll probably end up skipping out, except for when I have to do the final battle. Mm, next we have Dark Nobu, which is of the Assassin class. We have the Black Beast Grease. Funny name. Crown Silvery, Silvery Light, Cursed Clay, and the Bronze Bell. I could probably use the Crown Silvery Light. The silver light. I don't know why I'm having such trouble saying silverly, but I am. Uh, assassin is usually pretty easy because I have plenty of single target casters. I actually have... yeah. I don't get to use them a whole bunch, so this would just be a good excuse to use them, so I'll probably grind this one a little bit more. Next we have the Mad Nobu, which is... Berserker, of course. What else could it be? And it has a... Oh, and the drop rates for the previous one. It looks like 24% for the Gullstone and I think 60% for the Silver Lily Light. I couldn't remember if I said it or not, so I'm just repeating it just to be sure. And next, the God of the Mad Nobu, the Final Nobu, the Berserker Nobu. It gives Primordial Languu and the Eternal Ice, along with some clay and some clam. A large clam. With a 55% chance for the ice, and 22% for the Primordial Lanago, whatever that is. I have plenty of that thing that I mentioned. I don't have... Uh, I think I might actually have something around 200 ice, so I think I should be good on ice. So I'm probably pretty set on not grinding very much the Berserker Nobu for me personally. Hmm, so... Let's see, overall it looks like there's really only two things I would potentially grind here, and it's really just the Assassin Nobu... And the Egg Nobu, which is the writer one. And some other ones where it's like, yeah, I could probably do a little bit of the Archer Nobu for the Flood Nobu for a little bit of the Reactor Cores if I wanted to. But it's not a big deal for me, so I don't know how crazy I'm going to end up doing. Obviously, I have to fight it for the gameplay footage for this video. <laughs> but in terms of off-screen actual doing it, I don't actually know. We'll see when it happens, I guess. The egg one is... I'll see how good my egg luck is feeling like, because that's actually going to be the deciding factor for me. It shouldn't be too hard, at least. Thankfully, all the ones I mentioned that I actually want, I have plenty of units that are strong enough to completely one-shot them, so... 
like the worst that the HP gets is like uh, 600,000, 80, 600,000, 80,000, something around that, 680882, big number, but it's small <laughs> when you've been playing for go for a decent amount of time, I could easily deal 1 million damage with a single target servant, so it's not like a big issue, but yeah. Good, happy rating for you guys out there. Hopefully you guys made it in time. And if you're not rating, then happy, I guess, relaxing day to you. <laughs> Till next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.